Hey everyone, how's it going? Cloud here, and today this is my guide on the Lumbridge and Drainer task system. Today we'll be looking at the medium tasks. So, in this guide we'll be looking at requirements in order to complete the tasks, the items required, and also the quickest way of completing each task. So, let's get started with the items needed in order to complete these tasks. So, these are the items you're going to need to complete each one. So, you will need two unnoted steel bars, a hammer or golden hammer, three air runes or an air type staff, uh, one earth rune, one law rune, a pickaxe, a hatchet, a tinderbox, one more lobster, uh, a silver ore, holy mold, fly fishing rod, a few feathers, um, five should be enough really, uh, one willow log, and a cowhide, a pot of flour or raw beef. Um, most of those items listed should be on your tool belt so it might be worth double checking before you go and uh, get any additional ones. And for the requests required in order to complete these tasks, you must have completed the Cook's Assistant quest and you must have at least started the Dragon Slayer quest. Um, that requires 33 quest points so that's obviously an additional thing there. And for the actual skills required, you will need the following 36 smithing, 31 magic, 30 fire making, 40 wood cutting, 30 wood cutting, 16 crafting, 30 fishing, and 30 mining. So, at the moment, you will see I'm just outside of Drainer near the uh, Drainer Lodestone. I recommend starting from here before um, doing these tasks, as it's the quickest route to get to each one. And we're going to get started with the first task. So, the task we're completing first is called Steel Justice, and that is to smith a steel longsword on the anvil in the jailhouse sewers. Um, so, if you watch where my character heads to, um, there's a couple of areas around Drainer where there's a ladder, it will take you down into the sewage system. And pretty much in the middle of it, there's an area uh, with a man, I can't remember what his name is now he's got a bed and also an anvil near him and this is where you need to make your steel longsword with the uh, two steel bars and hammer you should have brought with you as well as your 36 smithing requirement once you've completed that task, we're now going to teleport to Varrock using the Varrock Lodestone to head to the next task, um, just for quick of access, and this one is called Where's the Beef? And that is to get Beefy Bill, <laughs> weird name I know, uh, to bank flour, cowhide or beef for you. Um, I did realise you must have two of the item because he requires one himself in order to bank yours, so whatever was the item you bought with you at the beginning, so in my case it was a cowhide, just kill like another cow, acquire a second cowhide and then use them on um, Beefy Bill and it'll give you the option to bank one and keep one and when you do that the task should be completed so the next task we're going to complete is called Ease of Access and it's quite handy for us because we need to head there next. We need to use the Lumbridge Teleport spell, um, so not the home teleport using the lodestone, the actual spell itself called Teleport to Lumbridge. You need 31 magic for it and this is also what you need the runes uh, listed earlier on, one law, one earth and free air. Um, so as soon as you arrive in Lumbridge the task will come up as completed. From here we can now begin to complete the other tasks, so we're going to do the Willow the Wisp of Smoke and that is to light a Willow Log Fire on the top of Lumbridge Castle Gatehouse. Um, it's on the second floor of the gatehouse at the east side, not behind the castle. A lot of people have been known before to go to the other sort of gatehouse, but even though it's not technically known as that, there's like another building towards the west that isn't the correct one, you must make sure you're near where I am. Basically where you can see the bridge uh, that crosses Lumbridge, you can't go wrong really. Once you've done that, we're going to complete the next task, which is called A Meal Fit for a Duke, and that is to cook a lobster on the range in the Lumbridge Castle kitchen. So not only will you need 40 cooking to cook the lobster, you must have also completed the cook's assistant quest in order to use the range in there. Um, I obviously cook the lobster, no problems at all, but there might be the odd chance that yours burns, so you might want to have a couple of backup ones, just in case. Once you've done that, the next task we want to complete is called Always Be Prepared, and that is to try and obtain an anti-dragon breath shield from Duke Horatio. Um, this is what you need to start a Dragon Slayer um, quest to do, uh, up to the point where you get told to, um, to acquire the shield. Um, and obviously you need 33 quest points to uh, even start that quest. Um, Obviously, if you have completed Dragon Slayer quest, when you get another shield from the Duke, it probably won't come up with tasks being completed, so you should have done that technically when you've done the quest earlier on. So not to worry, you can always just double check uh, under your uh, list of tasks to see if it's been completed or not. The next task we want to complete is called the Weeping Willow, and that is to cut a willow tree east of Lumbridge Castle near the Doomsayer. So if you head outside of the castle uh, through the gates and head north slightly, uh, you should see a willow tree pretty much near the river and, like I said, slightly near the Doomsayer, um, and that is what you need your 30 wood cutting in, in order to complete. 
The next task we're going to complete is called One Day You Shall Be a Fork, so, <laughs> um, and that's to smelt a silver bar in the Lumbridge Furnace. Um, so if you head slightly north of where you are already, um, there should be a furnace in the uh, house located here. You need 20 smithing in order to do so. Uh, use your silver ore on the furnace to get a silver bar. Now immediately after that, which is quite handy, and as long as you have the stuff with you, you can complete the next task which is called Made to Order, and that's to craft a holy symbol in the Lumbridge Furnace. Um, so obviously you need to use your silver bar and also your um, a symbol mould um, in order to make it and you will also need 16 crafting for this. The next task we're going to complete is called Lovely with a Squeeze of Lemon and uh, that is to catch a salmon in the river to the east of Lumridge Castle. Um, you obviously need your uh, fish, fly fishing rod and uh, feathers in order to do this. Um, you will most likely catch some other fish, I can't remember what it is now, uh, trout I believe it is. Um, and eventually you should catch some salmon. Um, you need f uh, 30 fish in order to be able to do so. Um, make sure you bring enough feathers because it's more than likely you'll acquire quite a few um, trout before acquiring the salmon so just drop the trout there no use to you once you've completed the task the next task is called Hi-Ho Silver, and that's to mine some silver from the mining spot north of al -Qurid. Um So if you head slightly east of where you were when you were fishing, you should go through like the little pass bit and start heading north, and there's a huge mining area uh, north of al -Qurid, and there should be a few different um, silver ore spots. Uh, simply click one of them and mine one to complete the task. This is what you require, 20 mining in order to do so. Once you've done that, we can now complete the final task, which is called Everybody Loves Coal. So first off, I recommend you teleport to Lumbridge using the Lodestone Network and start heading towards Lumbridge Swamp. Um, the task in order to complete it is to mine some coal in the mining spot, which is southwest of Lumbridge Swamp. Um, so you've got two different mining spots. There's one in the southwest, some one in the southeast. The southeast doesn't contain any coal, whereas the west one does. So just simply follow like the... Uh, Oh, whatever you call it, the ocean will say, um, along all the way to the end and eventually you'll come up to a mining spot and there should be some coal in order for you to um, mine. And if this was your last task, it should come up saying you completed all the tasks uh, for the medium and now to return and claim your reward. So once you've completed all your tasks, we need to go and speak to Ned, who can be found in Draina Village in one of the houses. Um, I believe you also spoke to him during Dragon Slayer, so you should know who he is. Um, so head there and speak to him in order to get your reward. So, congratulations, you've completed the Lumbridge and Drainer tasks on the medium setting and you would have got the following rewards. So, you will get Explorer's Ring 3, which is an upgraded version of 2. Um, when worn, it replenishes 50% run energy when using a charge and up to 3 charges can be used per day. Um, you can cast low level alchemy 30 times a day without runes at 21 magic and obviously that will earn yourself 930 magic experience daily. The chance of gaining extra runes and experience when crafting air water, earth and fire runes at their respective altars and you can also teleport to the cabbage patch north of Port Serim and south of the Falador allotment. Um, it's free and has an unlimited number of charges so it's quite handy to have that, um, especially like what sort of the one click um, emergency teleports you can use when going on different like dangerous quests, bosses etc. Um, you would have got an antique lamp which grants you 1500 experience in any skill level 35 or higher and you would also earn various coins for completing each task. So yeah, thank you very much for watching this guide. I have worked hard on it, so please ensure to like, favourite, comment, subscribe and share of it. Um, if you get any problems at all or get stuck, make sure you leave a comment section below or send me a message and I'll try and help you out as best as I can. Thanks for watching guys. Bye.